Here we are looking at the cartridge valve setting kit that we've developed for one of our customers. There's two parts to the kit. The first part is our block, which is for setting all the cartridges in. The second part is the toolbox, which holds all the tools, seal kits and information required to make it all work. As you can see, all the tools appropriate to the cartridge valves that are used on site are all laid out in here, ready to use, including a torque wrench and all the adapters needed. We also include seal kits for each of the types of cartridges that might be used on site, clean bags for packaging once they're set, and we made space for the manual to ensure that it's in there for access for anyone that might need it. If we come over to the valve setting kit, we've got a small hydraulic tank down the bottom here, and we use a hand pump so that we can pressurise the system and set cartridge valves as required. The gauges connect on the end here and there's two gauges can provided in the kit, a digital and a analog gauge which we recommend that both are used as a redundancy to make sure that there's no problems with accuracy of gauges. Down here is the breather and in the end of the block we have a filter cartridge. Well, we don't envisage it'll never need to be changed. So this block we have a perspex cover on it um, and the perspex cover is latched when we pressurise the system like this so that it can't be opened while we're setting the valves. When we depressurise the system there shouldn't be any hazards along in here and so we can open up, the open up the cover and access the valves. The valves that we've got here at the moment are just in there to blank the holes so they're all commoned up and they're all connected together. The red cartridges or the red covered cartridges are the relief valves which have been installed. They're just different types of cartridges as you can see by the sizes and they're preset to ensure that the system can't be overpressurized. So there's four in this one, there could be three or just two just to ensure that no matter which cartridge you're trying to set, it'll always have at least two relief valves in there to protect the operator from overpressurization. The end one here is just a blanking cartridge.